It's, it's a fairy tale. And, you know, like all fairy tales, it starts out like this. A long time ago, way, way off in a corn country, there lived a beautiful burrow. And this beautiful burrow lived in a very, very hard gouse on the hop of the tail. And she lived with her mudly other and her two, yes, her two sad blisters. <laughs> and in this very same corn country, there also happened to live a very, very prance and hints. And one day, the very, very prance and hints decided to have a fancy fall and invite all the beautiful burrows in the corn country to his fancy fall. And so Rindicella's mudly other was happy. She was going to get to go to the fancy fall. She was getting her beautiful bound all ready to go to the fancy fall. And Rindicella's too. Sad was the key were happy because they were going to get to go to the fancy fall. And they were getting their beautiful bounds all ready to go to the fancy fall. But poor Rindicella, she just cat in the sword and cried. Until all of a sudden, all of a sudden, the great large light appeared. And it was none other, none other than you guessed it, Rindicella's Gary Fodmother. <laughs> Now, Rindicella's Gary Fodmother came down and she said, Rindicella, Rindicella, what are you catting in the corner crying about? And Rindicella said, oh, Gary Fodmother, Gary Fodmother, I can't go to the fancy fall because all I have to wear are old Rudy Dags. <laughs> now, Rindicella's Gary Fodmother said, we can fix all that. So Rindicella's Gary Fodmother took out her wagic mond. <laughs> And she told Rindicella to go find her a huge pumpkin. <laughs> and so Rindicella did. She got up from where she was sitting. She went out to the garden. She found the huge pumpkin that she could find. And Rindicella brought the huge pumpkin back to her Gary Fodmother. And Rindicella's Gary Fodmother took out her wagic bond and with one wave of the wagic bond over the top of the huge pumpkin turned it into a beautiful boat. <laughs> and then. Rindicella's Gary Fodmother said, I want you to go find me six, not five, but six might wise. <laughs> and so Rindicella does. She once again gets up from where she's sitting. She goes down to the cellar, finds six, not five, but six might wise. Rindicella brought the six might wise back to her Gary Fodmother, and Rindicella's Gary Fodmother once again took out her wagic wand and with one wave of the wagic wand over the top of the six might wise, turned them into six dutiful values. <laughs> And now, for your old Rudy Dags. Rindicella's Gary Fodmother took her wagic pond and waved her wagic pond over Rindicella. And her r old Rudy Dags turned into a beautiful pal. <laughs> and for the final, Rindicella's Gary Fodmother took her wagic pond and touched the tip of Rindicella's old shirty dudes <laughs> and turned them into slash skippers. <laughs> And Rindicella, wearing her slash skippers, dressed in her beautiful bound, got into her beautiful boat, drawn by six beautiful values, and rode off to the Bancy Fall. And just by chance, the very, very Prince and Hints was watching from a wooden window. And the very moment that the very, very Prince and Hints saw Rindicella, oh, he lell and fub with her. <laughs> <laughs> And Rindicella got out and went into the Bancy Fall. And this very moment that Rindicella saw the very, very Ransom Hints, <laughs> she lell in love with him too. <laughs> and they danced all night long. Until finally, the clock started to strike midnight. Rindicella remembered she must return before the final stroke of midnight. And so she broke away from the very, very passive hints, and Rindicella ran, and she ran, and she ran. And as Rindicella staced down the rares and beached the rod, and she slopped her dripper. <laughs> now the very, very passive hints didn't quite know what to think of all this, so the very, very passive hints runs after Rindicella. And as he runs, and he runs, and he runs, and as the very, very passive hints staced down the rares and beached the rod, and he found the slop dripper. 
and the very, very Pransom Hintz picked up that slop drip right then and there in his hands. And he said, whomever slopped this dripper here tonight, I love and love her. <laughs> and the ma very, very Pransom Hintz made this lock lapration. Whomever this slop dripper shall fit, I shall marry. The very, very Pransom Hintz took the slop dripper around to every hard scout in the corn country, trying it on every beautiful baby. Until they finally came to the hard gals on top of the till, where Rindicella, her mudly other, and two sad blisters came. And Rindicella's mudly other said, Oh, very, very Prince of Hints, very, very Prince of Hints, try it on me first, try it on me first. So the very, very Prince of Hints did try to slap different on Rindicella's mudly other's thick butt first. But you know what? It fit and bit. <laughs> <laughs> And then the first sad blister says, Oh, very, very precipice, very, very precipice, try it on me next, try it on me next. So the very, very precipice did try the soft river on Rinder Sell's first sad blister's fig butt next. <laughs> but you know what? It, it, it. it food and wet. <laughs> <laughs> and the second sad blister said, Oh, very, very precipice, very, very precipice, try it on me next, try it on me next. And so the very, very precipice did try the soft river on Rinder Sell's second sad blister's fig butt fit next. <laughs> 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 but you guessed it. It just didn't fit. <laughs> and then finally, Rindicella said, Oh, very, very precipice. Please, please, try the dog me next. And so the very, very precipice took the slap dripper and tried it on Rindicella's tiny toot next. <laughs> and you know what? <laughs> this time it did fit. <laughs> and once again, the very, very precipice and Rinda Sella. <sighs> Lel and Fub with each other. <laughs> and they were married, and they lived happily, happily ever after. Now, you know the story of this Maury. <laughs> if you ever go to a Bansy Fall and just by chance happen to meet and Lel and Fub, with a very, very prancing hint. <laughs> don't, don't forget. Maybe it was a very, very prancing princess. <laughs> don't forget to slap your dripper. <laughs> Thank you.